سلامي سلامي لقوم كرامي. I would like to invite Murna Mufti Ubaidullah Hamza, who came from Bangladesh, and he is indeed a great scholar and represent, representing an institution which is one of the largest institution of Bangladesh, which has played an important role to produce ulama, scholars, all over the world. So I welcome him and I request Murana Ubaidullah Hamza to come and advise to our Muslim brother living in Hong Kong, Murana Ubaidullah Hamza. The father. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa salatu wa salamu ala Sayyidin Mursaleen Muhammad bin Abdullahi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Amma ba'd fa'audhu billahi min ash-shaytani rajim bismillahi rahman rahim inna anzalnahu fi laylatul qadr. Wa ma adraka ma laylatul qadr. Laylatul qadr khayrun min alfi shahar. وقال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم من صام رمضان إيمانا واحتسابا غفر له ما تقدم من ذنبه ومن قام ليلة القدر إيمانا واحتسابا غفر له ما تقدم من ذنبه أو كما قال عليه الصلاة والسلام My dear brothers and sisters in Islam to begin with I would like to thank the management committee and especially my expected personality, Chief Imam of this month, Mufti Maulana Arshad Damod Barakatuhum, to give me a space or floor to talk here for a few minutes in front of you. As he said, this might be the last Juma of Ramadan. So this is what we call Jumat al Vida. <clears throat> about this Juma and the next few days I want to talk about Laylatul Qadr. In fact, we are at the last part of Ramadan. We have only a few days in hands to use it. Oh, you know that Allah mentioned about this night, what we're going to call it Laylatul Qadr or Shabi Qadr, night of power, night of degree or night of faith, whatever you say it. It is one of the greatest opportunity we have in our hand to use it. And when we, came, we come here, we should maximize our benefit from this lesson. And we know the Prophet ﷺ said, Our action will be just based on our intention. So first of all, we should, before we move on, we should make knee of itikaf because it take up could be for 10 days, it could be for a shorter period of time, it could be for a few minutes. And also to join the circle of knowledge, circle of ilm, and also to visit brothers, and also to, uh, to pray. If we make a single you know, visit, all of these things, so uh, we, our reward will be multiplied. My brothers and sisters in Islam, this night, Allah says, it, Allah did not say this is like 1,000 months. Allah said better than 1,000 months, which is equivalent to 83 years and 4 months. And one of the scholars had counted each hour, each hour of the day, night of the Qadr is equivalent to 8 years, imagine. And one minute is equivalent to 53 days. So there is a hadith the Prophet said, when he was shown the lifespan of the previous people, nation before them, and the Prophet said that some of them lived even for a thousand years, for 500 years. And one of the Rasulullah was impressed by a person who joined, <coughs> who joined jihad, who prayed at night, who fasted the day for 83 years. The Prophet was impressed by these men. And he thought about his own people, his own nation, Ummah. How about my ummah? Because my ummah's life is man will be average from 60 to 70 years. So that Allah gave him this night for this ummah, because if you use it for one single night, we'll be lucky enough to get it, as if we are doing ibadah to Allah for 83 years. 
this is why we have to use it. We have to get the maximum of this night. Allah said in the Quran, Qadr. The Prophet وسلم, tried his best, hardest part, to get this night. Allah said, that we, I have sent down the Quran. This is why this night is so powerful, so great, so great to Allah. Anything that has to link with Quran, you know, its rewards, its status increases with Allah. Month Ramadan, the only month that was mentioned in the Quran, it is month of Ramadan. And the status of Ramadan because of the Quran, Shahru Ramadan, Alladhi Unzila Fi Al-Quran. And this night, the status of this month, not night, is also because of the Quran. Inna Zanna Fi Al-Qadr. In fact, Imam Hassan Basri, Rahimahullah, he said, he said that, see, that Allah is the greatest status than any being we can imagine. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has the greatest status than all of the creatures. And Jibreel is the greatest status among all the angels. And this month is the greatest status among all the months. And this night is at better than a thousand months. So everything best is in this night. So Allah, all of the, the divine books, if we see the history as it came in the hadith, all of the divine books and scriptures were revealed in this month. As it is in the hadith, the scrolls of Ibrahim alayhi salam were sent down on the first day of Ramadan. And Torah was sent down on the sixth of Ramadan. And Injil on the thirteenth of Ramadan. And Zabur or some on the eighteenth of Ramadan. And Quran according to one hadith on the twenty-fourth of Ramadan. In another hadith, twenty-seventh of Ramadan. Inna anzallahu fi laylatul qadr wa ma'adara kama laylatul qadr. Laylatul qadr khayru min alfi shahar. My brothers in Islam. You see Allah kept us for many safety nets. In one hadith, Man sama Ramadan, iman wa iqtisaba ghufira lo ma taqaddam in dhambi. Who fast, whole month, whole month, believing in Allah and anticipating reward from Allah, his past sins will be forgiven. And second, in another hadith, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Man qama Ramadan, iman wa iqtisaba ghufira lo ma taqaddam in dhambi. Who? Praise Tarawi prayer, whole month, believing in Allah and anticipating, expecting to what from Allah, from God, his past sin will be forgiven. And another hadith, the Prophet says, who get the Laylatul Qadr, is stood in prayer, stay whole night, and make ibadah, his past for sins will be forgiven. See here three safetyness. Each one is safety for the other. If there is any shortcomings, any deficiency in keeping past, then we have a chance to make it up with Tarawih. If there is any deficiency in Tarawih, we can make it up at least with doing ibadah in the Laylatul Qadr, in Shabi Qadr, the safety net. Man qama Ramadan, Laylatul Qadr, iman wa ihtisaban ghufira lahu ma taqaddam min dhambi. This is what the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to do. Even before Ramadan came, even before Ramadan came, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said one hadith, and Abu Sa'id al-Khudiz Rasul stood up to give lecture, he said, Atakum Shahrun Adim, Shahrun Mubarak. This is a blessed month, blessed month. Why? Fihi Laylatun Khairun Min Alfi Shahar. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, There is a night which is better than a thousand months, a thousand months. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said further, he said, If one get the goodness of this night, as if he got the, all the goodness, one who is deprived of the goodness of this night, Hurim al Kullum. And nobody becomes deprived except the one Allah wants him to be deprived. Why? Because of maybe sins we are insisting on. That's what keeping us away from Allah. My brother, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam one night, Abu Sa'id Khudri said, uh, oh, I came out to inform you which night is the night of Qadr. But two men were engaged in quarreling, you know, they're in argument. The Prophet ﷺ said, Farufiyat, this night is taken away, taken away. So I could not tell you. And also the Prophet said, it might be good for you. Anyway, Faltamisuha fil ashir al awakhir min al vitil. Seek it, seek it out, charge for it in the old nights of the 
last 10 nights of the Ramadan, seeking in the odd nights of Ramadan, at least in, in particular in the last 10 nights of Ramadan. As Abu Sa'id Khadir has a friend, his name is Abu Salma. He said, I went to my friend Abu Sa'id and I took him to the Masjid al Nabubi, the mosque of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He said, Tell us about Laylatul Qadr, night of Qadr. And Abu Sa'id Khudri said, He's narrating. He said, Once we remember, we are making itikaf with the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Itikaf. For what? To get this night. Even from the first day of Ramadan, we just you know, make itikaf for 10 days, first 10 days. Jibreel came. Jibreel came and told the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Inna ladhi tatlubuka mamak. What you're looking for is ahead of you. What is looking for it ahead of him. Then the Prophet ﷺ continued in Ithika ten days more. Jibreel came again and he told him, What you're looking for is ahead of you. Abu Sa'id Khudri said, Now the Prophet ﷺ said to us, Mani itakafa ma'arasulillah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam falyarja. Whoever did itikaf with me, with the Prophet of Allah should come back, should return, to seek it more last 10 days. This year, the Prophet Sallallahu made it for a whole month. What for? To get this night only, to get the Laylatul Qadr. This is a great ni'mah, great favor from Allah, just to get it. As the Prophet Sallallahu says, if we get it, we are lucky enough. Who knows that we live just for 83 years? Nobody knows it. So brother, my brother Islam, we have to, we have to try our best. The Prophet, a hadith, you know, there is a hadith, the Aisha Siddiqa radiallahu anha said, إِذَا دَخَلَ الْعَشْرُ الْأَوَاخِرُ كَانَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهُ وَسَلَّمْ أَحْيَى اللَّيْلَ كُلَّ وَأَيْقَذَ أَهْلَى وَشَدَّ الْمِئْزَرُ وَشَدَّ الْمِئْزَرُ When the last ten nights came up, the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم used to give life to this night. What does it mean? It means he used to stay whole night up doing ibadah without sleeping. Ahi Layla Kulla, giving life to the night by the ibadah, worship of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Wa ayqad ahla, not only that, he also woke his family members up, not then let them sleep, because these are opportunities. This is a sale. Sale for what? Sale for Jannah. This is an opportunity. We should not miss it. Then the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam shadd al mi'zar. It means he used to tighten his waist belt. It means that he used to very work very hard to get this night. We should follow the Sunnah Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Sahaba did a lot. But what that night would be? The, in fact, if you look at the Quranic Surah, in Nanzal Fila Little Qadr, you find there are five verses. Five verses. There are many things that because of short of time we cannot talk about all those things. But anyway, you know the first five verses that were revealed. In the beginning of Surah Al-Alaqa, Iqra, there are five verses. Followed by Surah Al-Qadr, in Anzalnahu Filalat Al-Qadr, there are also five verses in this Surah. And that's why ulama say the Laylatul Qadr could be in any of five nights at the last ten you know, the end, the days of Ramadan. Any night. It would be 21st, 23, 25, 5th, 27, or 29, at least. One old man came to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. See, we can get this opportunity. He said, Ya Rasulullah, Inni rajulun shaykhun kabir. I'm an old man. I'm an old man. So, Yashuq Alayhi Siyam, fasting is very difficult for me. He still, I do. I do fast. But what can I do? How can? Just ta'muruni bi shay, la'alla li wafiqni tilka layla. Just command me, order me, tell me to do one thing so that I can get the Laylatul Qadr. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Alaihi is stick to the seven. It's mean 27. Even some of the companions of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam swear by God that it is 27. Some of them. Among them Ma'aviyah, Ubay ibn Ka'ab and many of them, that's it, 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 it be 20, it could be 27. Anyway, we should not stick to one night we should try to the in order nice of the all the last ten parts of Ramadan. My brother, this is a lifetime opportunity. Who knows that we are going to live next Ramadan? 
maybe some of them fasted with us last year, but they are no more here, no more here. It, many Ramadan could be the last Ramadan in our life. Any Ramadan could be the last Ramadan in our life. That's why we have to they get the maximum of Ramadan and summer. What we can do? Exp uh, when we look at the Hadith, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said Aisha, uh, to Aisha, Aisha, you know, radiallahu anha, the most beloved person to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And according to Amr ibn al-As, once he asked the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, who is the most beloved person to you? He said Aisha, among men, his, her father, Abu Bakr, radiallahu anha. Aisha said, Ya Ara'ayta, Ara'ayta, Ya Rasul, in wafaqtu laylat al-Qadr. If you see, I, if I realize that this is the night of Laylat al-Qadr, what should I say? What should I do? What should I do? Who is asking Aisha? The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The Prophet said, Taqulina, Allahumma innaka afu kareem, tuhibbu al-afu wa fa'afu anni. You say, continue this saying. What do you say? Oh Allah. You are the most forgiving. You are forgiving, most forgiving, merciful. And you love forgiving. Forgive me. That's the dua we should insist on, we should do. So my brothers, you can see here that as if the Prophet wasallam indicated to one thing, that we may pray, we may recite the Quran, but the maximum power should be spent for dua, for dua, for supplication. Taqulin, inna ka'afu, inna ka'tuhibbal afafu anni. In fact, Ramadan is the month of dua, month of dua. If we go through the verses of the Ramadan and Siyam in the Quran, we see, Ya yuhalladhina amanu kutib alaykum siyam, Allah talks about fasting. Then Allah says, Shahru Ramadan, Allah di fi al Quran, again about Ramadan. Then Allah says, Wa iza sahalaka ibadi anni fa inni qareeb, ujibu da'wata da'idha da'an, fal yastajibu li wa li uminu bil alam yarshudun. Here Allah talks about dua, he talks about Ramadan or Siyam. So in between, Allah talks about dua, my brother. That's why we have to make a lot of dua. If we want that our dua, our supplication, our invocation, our prayer should be answered by Allah, then what we have to do? The Prophet wasallam said, Man sarrahu an yustajabalahu fi shadaidi fal yukthiri dua fi rakha. Whoever wants his prayer should be answered by God. In times of hardship, in times of you know, calamities, disaster, diseases, or any unlikely events or situation, what do we do? We should do a plentiful of dua in time of peace, in time of comfort. And this is what Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Allah minna ka'afu tahib al ka'afu anni. Oh Allah, you are forgiving, you are, you know, forgiving, most forgiving. You love to forgive, you love to forgive, For forgive us. My brothers, you know, who is incapable? Incapable is one who does not make dua to Allah. We are late in making dua. Allah is never late in responding. In responding. Whoever, if my slaves ask me about me, concerning me, Allah says, I'm very closer to him. I respond, I listen to the one who calls on me. Even in another verse, Allah said, one who does not make dua, one to, who does not raise up his hand to Allah, he's arrogant. Yes, takbirun ibadah, they said, khun jahannam adakhirin. In fact, ad dua afdal al ibadah, this is the best form of worship. Ad dua mukhul ibadah, this is a sense of worship. Why? We are servant, you know, slavery or slavehood, it means to be humble. When we raise our hands to Allah, we show that Allah is capable, Allah is powerful, Allah has everything to con in control. We have nothing, we have nothing. Anything or everything we ask, we should ask Allah. Even the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, even if one lays of show, he can ask for it to the Allah, the Almighty, the Creator. My brothers, the Prophet does not, you know, did not specify a specific ibadah that would be performed on the night of you know, Laylat al-Qadr. We may you know, shift one ibadah to another, we alternate. We'll recite the Quran, then we can move to the dhikr, then we can move to dua. If, even you can take a nap, you know, sleep. You know, if you feel that very weak, just sleep, take a nap for a few hours, maybe or a few minutes, then again continue ibadah. This is only a few minutes. We take leave for many things, you know, 
from our jobs, for medics, for business, for anything, you know, for many things. Why should not we take leave for this night so that we don't have to be worried about, you know, next day work, next day work, we have to. My brothers, you know, may Allah give us tawfiq to get this night, to get this night, and Allah, except for all, all of us, good this. Jazakallah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. يوجهنا الله تعالى أنزله ورسول الله معلمنا